Sony has recently come out with three new colors of DualSense PS5 controllers. And while they look really nice on the outside, we're gonna take a look at the inside to see if anything's changed, to see if any parts have been upgraded, specifically the analog sticks and the springs on the triggers because those are common failure points. In one of my previous videos, I compared the original white DualSense controller to the new version at the time, the Magenta DualSense controller, and I found that there is basically zero difference between the white and the Magenta, so they hadn't upgraded anything as of that time, but I'm curious to see if they've done any upgrades on these new colors. So with that all being said, Let's get one apart, see what it looks like on the inside, and compare it with the previous colors. This video is sponsored by BW100, more on them in a minute. We need to remove the R1 and L1. To do that, I just get a pry tool in under the button and pry it until it pops out. Just like that. And just like that. After that's done, there's a screw here and a screw here, a screw here and a screw here. I'll be using a Phillips double zero bit to remove these screws. After those screws are removed, we need to remove this clip and this clip. Then we can slowly pry the two halves apart. And there we go. So the previous color of controller was a CFI ZCT1W, and this new blue color is the exact same CFI ZCT1W. And looking at the batteries, they are both the exact same model, the exact same voltage, and the exact same amperage and wattage ratings. So no changes on the battery. If you're ever doing this sort of a job, be sure you're pulling on the connector part where the wires go through and not the connector that's attached to the board. If you pull on the connector that's attached to the board, you'll likely disconnect it from the board. Then you'll have to learn how to solder to get it back together. Which, by the way, is a great skill to have. In order to remove this battery carrier, we need to remove this microphone ribbon cable. Just like that. Now this just pulls up. Now we get our first look at the board and I actually see some changes on this board. This main large chip is no longer on this side of the board. It's on the other side. Also, this new board is smaller and doesn't have these rubber grommets right here. This new board just stays in the midframe with these little clips, one over here and one over here. Let's get it off and see if there are any major changes on the other side. Now, if we needed to completely remove this board all the way out of the midframe, I would desolder these wires and these wires. These sets of wires go to the rumble motors. For our purposes today, we just need to pull this board out and flip it over. Let's remove these thumb sticks so we can get a better look at the analog stick modules. Well, let's compare them to the old ones and see if they're the same or if they're different. And the analog sticks are almost exactly the same. These analog sticks from the older model have a black piece right here and right here. These analog sticks, that piece is green. I'm guessing that's not a meaningful change, but who knows, maybe that means they have done some upgrades on these analog sticks. It'll be interesting to see if the new pink and purple controller also have these green pieces on the analog sticks. Also on this new color, the main chip is on the bottom side of the board versus the top side of the board on the previous color. I keep wanting to say model, but these are technically the exact same model, just different colors. So those look like the main changes on the board. Let's take a look at the springs on the triggers. But before we do that, I wanna tell you about BW100 by putting it to the test. I have these two Xbox Series X controllers and they both have stick drift. I'm gonna use BW100 and see if we can fix it. So I have the first red controller hooked up to gamepadtester.com you can see this analog stick right over here. When I push it up, it goes up and then slowly comes back down. And when I push down, it slowly comes back up. Let's try the next one. And exactly the same thing on this one. So let's see if BW100 can get these analog sticks clean enough that they don't do that. BW100 is ideal for use on electronic components, automobiles, rechargeable devices, consoles, PCBs, laptops, cell phones, drones, sound systems, etc. It's safe to use on almost all plastics, rubber, and metal. Two of my favorite things about it are it evaporates super quickly and it's non-flammable. So here's the first Series X controller. And there you go, you can see that it is way better. I can't say that it's perfect, but it's almost perfect. Let's try the next one. Here we go. And as you can see, this one is now working perfectly. No matter what I do with the stick, it goes right back to the middle, just like it should. If you wanna check out BW100 for yourself, I'll put a link in the description that'll take you right to it. These springs are common failure points on these controllers. In order to remove them, we just have to get them out of their 
little groove right here, just like that. So this is the old spring. This is the new spring. Which one do you think looks more robust? I think this spring actually looks quite a bit thicker just to the naked eye. Let's actually measure though. I'm curious if it's just how it looks or whether it is actually thicker. Let's first check the thickness of the original spring. 0.25 millimeters. And let's check the thickness of the new spring. 0.3 millimeters. So if my math is correct, the new spring is 0.05 millimeters larger than the old spring. I can't believe they actually made meaningful changes on these new colors, but it'll be interesting to see if the springs on the pink and the purple controller have also been upgraded. We'll be checking that next. Let's finish up with the blue one. If you're trying to replace this spring yourself, the easiest thing to do is to get it installed onto this middle peg and then use some tweezers and pull this piece around right on the other side of this peg, just like that. It'll kind of lock into place and you're done. I don't see any other major changes on this controller, so I'm gonna get this one back together. Let's take a look at the pink and the purple one. The model number on the purple controller is CFI ZCT1W and is really hard to read, but the same on the pink. This battery has a different model number than this battery. This one is SNYHR37. This one is LIP1708, but all the ratings are exactly the same. I'm guessing possibly different manufacturers. The main board configurations on each of these controllers is also exactly the same as on the blue controller. Now let's take a look at those analog sticks. And these two boards also have the green on the analog sticks right here. Again, I don't know that that is any meaningful upgrade. It may be just that it's a different color plastic and they have no reason for it. But also possibly these could be upgraded too. I don't know. Now let's take a look at the springs on the triggers and see if these springs are also 0.3 millimeter springs. So this is the spring from the purple controller. And we have 0.3 millimeters on that spring and the spring for the pink controller is also 0.3 millimeters. While I can't say whether the analog sticks have been upgraded or not, the springs definitely have been upgraded on the blue, purple, and pink Sony DualSense controllers. So if you're looking to get a new controller, I definitely recommend those ones over any of the other colors right now. It is possible that now they're putting these springs in all the colors. I sure hope they are, but I know for sure that the blue, purple, and pink colors have this new upgraded spring. If you're having problems with stick drift on any of your controllers, I highly recommend trying BW100 first. It's super easy to clean them and BW100 won't do any damage to your controller. Again, the link is in the description if you want to try it out for yourself. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a good one.